Your lack of engagement strategy is why you're not growing on Instagram. Let me explain. You see this Instagram account right here, 70,000 followers, more than 600,000 views on one of my recent reels. The content is great. The photos are crisp and sharp. The reels are punchy and deliciously rewatchable. But the secret to all this growth isn't just down to the beautiful doors, it's also down to me. Back in 2014, I had the bright idea of setting up an Instagram account all about my fascination with front doors in London. I have a lot of gorgeous architecture here in London and I also knew how popular cities like Paris, Japan, New York, London performed on Instagram back in 2015 and I also knew that if I featured front doors on Instagram I wouldn't have to feature in the photographs myself I could make the architecture the star of the show. So in the summer of 2014 I set up a new account I chose the really imaginative handle of the doors of London I started posting content relatively consistently and six months later absolutely nothing had happened. I had a couple of hundred followers, if that. My engagement was okay, but it didn't really have any momentum. Nothing exciting was happening. And you know why that was? My content wasn't great. But more importantly, I was posting with the expectation that that was enough that I'd hit post, lay back, and wait for the followers and adoring fans to come to me. Not so much. Even in 2014, when Instagram was still relatively new and brands and businesses didn't yet really know what to do with it, engagement and community building, i.e. leaving comments on people's content and sending thoughtful messages, was still very, very necessary to getting discovered and increasing engagement on the platform. So in 2015, I started a brand new year, January 1st, with a New Year's resolution. I was gonna make a go at this whole Instagram thing. That meant making my content the best it could possibly be and getting incrementally better every single day because let me tell you I was no photographer back in 2015 and I was going to start building relationships with the community of Londoners, Anglophiles and door obsessives that were really active on the platform. I did that and fast forward a few years I'd grown a community of 30,000 followers and an engagement rate of 15%. Fast forward another few years and now that community is 70,000 followers strong and an engagement rate of around 5 to 6%. Been featured in some really cool places and maybe some slightly less cool places and the doors of London have even been turned into their very own puzzle. It's been an amazing ride and one that wouldn't have been possible without the triple threat of great content, consistency and engagement. So with all that being said, I could end the video right here, but I'm not going to do that. You want to know why? Because I want to address why I think people have forgotten that to grow online, you have to engage, you have to network. And to address that, I'm gonna travel back in time to 2020, and I'm gonna blame this right here, Instagram Reels. In 2020, Instagram Reels was officially launched on the platform, and with it, hundreds if not thousands of business owners, content creators, and individuals went viral almost overnight, with their Reels amassing hundreds of thousands of views, and them garnering tens of thousands of followers. The advice being shared by everyone and his mother was create video content, share Reels. That is the big shiny secret to growth on Instagram. That is all you need to do to grow. And the big wigs at Facebook, sorry, Meta, rubbed their hands in glee because everybody seemed to be doing it. The masses seemed to be lacking up this partly manufactured demand for video. Now don't get me wrong, video is a content format that the majority of people do enjoy engaging with most of the time and I do think it should be a part of everybody's marketing strategy just to a degree. However those crazy metrics, those really high follower and view counts that we were seeing in late 2020, early 2021 have now leveled out into more realistic numbers. Someone with a following of 40,000 is likely to see their average reel hovering at about the 5,000 view mark, maybe 10,000 views if they're lucky. Of course, there will be a few that do exceptionally well, but for the most part, that is in line with Instagram engagement more generally. Now, the problem with these crazy numbers that I mentioned earlier is that people saw this as a reason to churn out a whole load of video and not really do very much of anything else. And the thing is, even creating great video content back then and now is not enough to sustain long-term growth on any social media platform. It might be enough to grow your account if you're lucky, but most of those new followers, those people that you've acquired, won't go any further. They won't convert because they're cold leads. To nurture them, to warm them up, and to get them to that stage where they're excited and willing to buy from you, you've got to build the know, like, and trust factor with them. Your content will help you do this, but unless you're willing to be really patient, then what would be a nine or 12 month customer journey, you can cut down to a three month journey from new follower to buyer by engaging with them, by getting to know them, 
by talking to them. This is so, so important in 2022. Instagram is just too saturated to be broadcasting content and not actually building relationships with people, not commenting on other people's content with questions, not sending thoughtful DMs to somebody to say how much you value the content they're putting out. And it's worth saying that this engagement is not just important because it's how relationships start. A comment becomes a conversation, becomes a friendship, becomes a client relationship. It's also because it tells the algorithm to prioritize your content in the feeds of the people you're engaging with and people who look like them, i.e. people who are sharing similar content to them, using similar hashtags, following similar brands, i.e. you getting in front of more of your ideal customer. By engaging, you're consciously and subconsciously, thanks algorithm, giving your content a big boost and getting it in front of more people. And I guarantee if you're watching this video now, hating on Instagram, saying that your engagement sucks and that not much of anything is really happening, I bet it's because you're not spending any time each week connecting with people. So next week, instead of just churning out content again, carve out 15 minutes every single day to intentionally get to know your followers. Get to know the people already rooting for you, the people already in your community, and go and find new people by searching the hashtags that you know they use, or by going to find them on the Instagram accounts that you know they hang out on. And if you want to learn more about how to engage as efficiently and effectively as possible, then definitely go and check out this video next.